Hi, my name is Nina. I'm a certified personal trainer and strength and conditioning coach. This is an upper body workout. All you're going to need is a TheraBand, just like this. And you'll also want something cushy to stand on, so I have a mat right here. You're welcome to do this entire workout seated if you like, but I prefer standing because it burns more calories and engages in your balance. And also, whenever you stand, you're working your glutes. Whenever you're, you sit, your glutes, which is your butt, it becomes inactive and gets all flabby and yucky. So we're gonna start with band pull-aparts. You're gonna have that band straight in front of you and you're going to pull across the front, the upper part of your chest. So you want tension on the band the entire time. So don't let it become lax. We're gonna do 15 repetitions of this particular exercise. <laughs> Breathe and squeeze your glutes just a little bit. That will make sure you're standing up nice and straight and tall. All right, so go ahead and drop one side to the floor. We're gonna work shoulders. My thumb is up and I'm gonna do a shoulder raise. And I'm going to reposition the band right now because I wanna make it a little bit more difficult for me. So I'm going right to shoulder height. It looks a little higher on the, uh, the video, but you wanna stop at shoulder height and just make it as easy or as difficult as you want. Go at your level. We've got just a couple more left. Two more. Last one. All right, switch sides, switch feet. I'm rolling it three times around my wrist. Now there's different tensions on TheraBands. I've got a medium one right now. And I like the thumb up because it's much more gentle on the shoulders. So I'm gonna show you different angles in this video. So you'll see me turning around from side to side. So there you can see it. So right now you can see how I'm just going up directly to the shoulder, no higher. And my thumb is on top. And there's a teeny tiny bend in my knees. So I'm trying not to lock out my knees. It's one of my bad habits. <laughs> All right, next exercise. I'm gonna roll this back up on both of my hands. And we are going to, so I'm trying to make sure it's centered. All right, so I have my palms facing up and I'm pulling straight out. So my elbows are tucked into my ribs and I'm pulling outward and back. So out and back, and you'll feel this on your upper back. Here is a side view. So you can see I'm pulling straight out to the side. So this works the back of the shoulder, and if you had a shoulder injury recently and you're doing these exercises for recovery, these might feel kind of intense. So just go at your own pace, go before the pain, and you might want to start with a lighter resistance band, but this will help with your posture, help getting the back of the shoulder strong again. The next exercise is lateral raises. So we're gonna go out to the side, not completely out, but pretty close out to the side with a teeny slight bend in the elbow. So I'm going out to the side, and then a little bit more front. So I'm alternating it. So there's so both two different lateral raises right here. There's one and then there's two. So one is for closer to a front raise and the other one is further back. Just add a little bit of variety. Make it more fun. Go ahead and switch feet. Go ahead and work the other shoulder. So I injured both my shoulders and it took a year and a half for um, one of my shoulders to recover. I injured them both separately, and so when I injured one of my shoulders, or both of them, the obviously you can't, you know, 
I had a frozen shoulder, which is adhesive capsulitis. I don't know if you've had that, but it's extremely painful and you can't, you can't work the shoulder at all. It's just much too painful. And so that muscle atrophies. And if you don't work the back of the muscles or other muscles, they atrophy as well. And what happens, atrophy is shrinking of the muscle. It doesn't go away. But if you start working an atrophied muscle, it actually feels like pain when you work it. it and so it's hard to decipher whether the muscle is working or if it's just pain. So if you have a recent shoulder injury, this particular exercise I'm doing right now may not work for you. So you can just go maybe just to chest height or shoulder height. The good thing about the band is I can stretch it out and which helps me go overhead. So if I had a like a bar, which a lot of people use, they'll use like a pipe, a plastic pipe. Forget about it, I can't use that at all. So I like using the TheraBand because I can stretch it and I can finally get it all the way around. Now this will help with the shoulder mobility. We're doing a total of 10 because these are a lot and I don't want to do too much today. So don't rush it, just feel it. Make sure you're going at a safe pace so your body realizes it's okay and then it won't tense up. So sometimes when you rush, your body tightens up and won't let you do what you want to. All right, great job. All right, I'm showing you a seated variation as well. So I'm gonna do one with balance, um, where I'm balancing on one leg, and the other one I'm just seated and I'm using both arms at once. So if you wanna do the one with, I'm leaning over in a lunge position, I'm gonna show you side view. So you'll see my leg that is back is not pointed forward, it's, it's about 45 degrees out, and that will help me from falling over. But if you need that chair, definitely grab that chair. And so I am doing a row and I'm pulling that band with my thumb up, shoulder down, straight to my hip or trying to bring my hand to my hip. So a lot of people do this and they'll bring their, their elbow way up to the sky. What you're trying to do is think about not going up but going back toward your hip or back toward your low back. When you're done with the 15 reps, just make sure you switch sides and use as much tension as you need. So I'm leaning on my leg for balance, which is pretty challenging. So here's a different variation where I'm leaning on my chair on my, on my leg, my shin actually. So make sure your back is flat your neck is in line with your back. And you're doing a little twist with that elbow to bring it back. Great, done with that stand up. We're gonna do triceps kickback. So we're gonna work the back of the arm, the part that gets really flabby. We're gonna tighten that up, get that strong. All right, tip the hair out of the way. <laughs> Lean a little forward in a slight lunge and we're just gonna Pull that back again, thumb up. That, and the reason why I do the thumb up is that if you have any shoulder issues, this, this is much more gentle on the shoulder. And I'm doing a tiny little pause at the, the back of the kickback right there. Boom, a little pause, pause. And again, try to get your neck and head in line. All right, when you're done with 15 reps, switch sides. I'm gonna move over here. And I'm doing that foot at a 45 degree balance, or a 45 degree angle to help me with balance. And you can lean a little bit more to make it a little bit more difficult because we're moving against gravity. And that's what makes it more challenging. Keep going. Again, make it as easy or as hard as you want, but give yourself a little bit of a challenge. Roll up, stand up. 
All right, next exercise, we're gonna work the biceps. All right, so I'm gonna stand in the middle of my, my band. I'm gonna center myself on it and I'm thumbs up again, pulling straight up. Now I see people doing this and they'll pull their hands, like they think they have to pull their hands to the to their shoulder, so I don't want you to do that. All I want you to do is pull it up, and I want your elbows tucked right into the rib cage. So actually, you should not be able to touch your shoulders, the front of your shoulders with your thumbs, because you, I don't want your arms moving. I mean, I want your forearms moving, but I don't want the um, arms moving from your side. Now this one, I've got my arms externally rotated outward. These are a little bit more challenging. And then I'm doing 15 again, slight bend in the knees, little bit of a, a glute squeeze so that you're standing nice and upright. And a little bonus with that is you're working your abdominals when you squeeze your butt. And I'm doing a little isometric hold at the top, hold, hold, slow, lower, eccentrically. Very nice. Step on out of that. Next exercise, we're doing bent over reverse flies. Now this works your upper back, the back of the shoulders. So I'm gonna wrap this a couple times, at least three times. I think I'm doing actually four times. I want this one to be extra challenging for myself. So you can hinge from the hips or you can do this seated. So again, keep constant tension on the band. Make sure your back is not rounded, it's flat, and also my shoulders are back and down and flat. So I'm just stretching that band straight out. And I'm looking down, but my chin is still up. And whenever I lean over, I pretend that someone's gonna punch me in the stomach. That will make sure I am contracting the abdominals slightly. I don't wanna suck in, but I do want to contract and slow lower yep and I'm doing a little hold 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 at the top you want to do it with me and slow lower roll up when you're done with those nice all right we're gonna work the back of the shoulders these are called scarecrows so we're working at 90 degree angles so I'm showing you from the side before we grab the band so we don't want that elbow down, we want it up. And we don't want the hand right by the shoulder, it should be out at 90 degrees. So the wrist, elbow should all be in line just like that. So come do this with me. I'm gonna show you another so you can do, show from side angles. Again, not, don't bend the elbows or the <laughs> wrist by your um, chest, it should be in line. So I want you to do these with me without the band. This might be challenging enough. So you wanna stop at 90 degrees and then you go back as far as you can and do a little hold at the top. All right, so now go ahead and grab your band if you want. Otherwise, you can just keep doing those with, um, without the band. All right, I'm gonna actually show you from this angle. I'm gonna wrap it. Now don't make this one tight. This is really hard just by itself. Use the same foot as the arm you're working. So here's the front. As you can see, I'm at 90 degrees. And what I'd like to tell people is try the, doing this without any equipment and just doing it in the mirror so you can see and then people can realize oh you know my elbow is dropping or my hand is going toward my chest and the reason why our bodies tend to do that is because our bodies try to find the easiest way out of doing something so we want to challenging it challenge our bodies and make it a little bit more difficult this is probably the hardest exercise of all of them i'm going to wrap this just once because i don't want too much tension this is a small muscle. And when you're working smaller muscles, you do not want to use as heavy weights or as heavy uh, of resistance. And up and down, look straight ahead, chin up. Almost done. Couple more. You're doing awesome. These are tough, huh? How are you doing? Nice. Done. Great job.
<laughs> so let's go ahead and cool down with some stretches. Let's just start with some shoulder rolls. Roll the shoulders back and down. Get the feet and the legs into it. Don't rush this. Trying to lower the heart rate. Trying to ease the tension in those shoulders. Couple more. And let's go ahead and put your hands by your glutes, which is the butt. And you put your hands right here. Roll the shoulders back and down. Now, if you have any shoulder injuries, you may just be like right here. So if that's all you can do, that's okay. All I want is that nice stretch right here through the front of the chest and the shoulders. So if you're here, again, if you can do more, interlace the fingers and then pull back. And just squeeze the butt. That will help engage the abdominals and it'll make sure that you're not hyperextending your back, which is bending it backwards. You want it to straight and look up, squeeze. A little more, squeeze. Nice, shake it out. So we work those biceps. Let's go ahead and just stretch that out as well. So I'm gonna put my, gently pull my fingers back to straighten all this out. So I'm doing it shoulder height. Don't do too much. If you feel any pain, go before the pain. Again, let's try this one. And try to push that shoulder back and down. Good, breathe. Drink lots of water today. Just do a little bit of rotation with our wrists. Two forward, two back. And then I get a little tension right here. This, this shoulder I injured most recently. So my trap starts tensing up getting really tight so what what helps me is if i take my fingers these two fingers and i press i use my shirt and i could press right down on that trap and i could feel that knot and i just push that hand down and i can put my neck to the side get down and then i look down pressing while pressing and bringing that back and this should feel Great, this should feel like, ah, ease tension away. So this shouldn't hurt. And then I can just move my head in different directions. And maybe do a little massage by moving that shoulder and then even putting pressure on different spots where I feel that tension, where I feel that knot. So let's go ahead and just do a couple more shoulder rolls. And, and whenever you feel tension, you can always take that. So uh, this is the side where I have the, the tension. So I'll push that hand out and I'll straighten my abdominal, straighten my body. I don't want to slouch. I want to elongate when I'm stretching, straighten that out. And then I can just do a gentle, gentle pressure. Just pull that out for that stretch. Let me know what you thought of this video. If you liked it, let me know by giving me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Double check to make sure that bell is tapped so that you can ensure that you will get notifications whenever I publish a video on YouTube. And also check out my website, thehighfivediet.com. Sign up for my blog, which I post twice a week on topics that are fitness and health related. I have videos on there as well. And I also have dairy free recipes that will be sent to you via email. You can do this exact TheraBand upper body workout twice a week for four and up to six weeks to gain strength and mobility. The videos that I put on YouTube are exercise videos like the one you saw today. I also have videos that are funny and ones that talk about nutrition, health, and weight loss. And I thought of two videos that I thought you would really enjoy right here. So check those out as well. One is on an exercise workout 
to relieve back pain and I also have a lower body TheraBand workout. So check those out as well and I will see you soon.